Let's start out by opening Inroads and selecting our XIN file that we want to extract our information from. And we're going to now navigate over to our Style Manager. And here we have a listing of our styles and our associated name symbologies. And for this exercise, we're going to focus on feature definitions in Open Roads Designer Connect Edition that are for survey. And one thing to point out here is our symbology names equal element templates and our style names equal our features. And that's something if you can get that straight then it'll kind of make sense what we're doing here in terms of uh, extracting this information from our XIN file. And in our Excel spreadsheet we're going to be using wildcards. You'll see that we have four tabs and I have, for example, entries here where I'm looking at wildcards for BR underscore asterisk underscore E asterisk and I'm going to be placing those entries in a particular path for survey and then bridge and then it's either going to be plan or profile and then it's going to be points or symbols and so on and so you can see the paths there that will be delivered as part of this example XIN and this example spreadsheet that will be able to do these extractions. These wildcards allow us to greatly simplify our number of entries and then the paths tell us where we want the element template paths as well as the feature symbology and feature definition paths. And so if we look at an example here for roadway edge of concrete existing you will see that I have an entry or a filter that looks for those particular entries roadway underscore asterisk which is any character underscore e asterisk and when it finds that it's going to place that in these appropriate folders and you'll see the headers at the top as to what it's looking for. We also have to define our feature symbology locations and again the same wildcard approach is going to take place here it's just we have different categories point cell path, point symbol path, linear path, profile path and surface path and you can make these all the same you can break them up as much detail as you want. And then we have the feature definitions path. Again, still using our filtered names, but we have point, linear, alignment, survey, path, and then survey feature definition path. If you want to rename levels, let's say you're combining different level libraries and you want to put, for example, DES for design underscore in front of all your level names, you can do that here again, and it does support filters. So once this spreadsheet is completed, then you can proceed with the extraction process. If an entry is not in this spreadsheet, then it will not get created in Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. And so you're going to have to make sure that every one of your different scenarios is covered, and there will be a log file that shows which ones are not covered uh, in the filtering spreadsheet. So now I'm going to go back to my working folder here, and I'm going to go ahead and run my executable. and make sure your spreadsheet, your executable, your XIN, your DLL and then the fa all are all in the same folder just makes it easier. You want to select your source XIN units and just a note here um, if you don't have a mapping set up for a particular entry in your XIN it will not get uh, generated. It's going to tell you how many you're missing in your mapping spreadsheet and again just a reminder it only set up for survey in this example but you would want to set all of them up if you want to bring all of your features forward. Then you will select to export to your XML files. And again, you do have the missing names map.txt file created. You can see your list of everything that was missed or not included in your filtering spreadsheet. So if you wanted to not use wildcards, you could literally extract the information right out of here if you wanted to. You could bring this into Excel using your hyphen as a separator and isolate that column and put those into your spreadsheet. I personally think the wildcards make it a lot faster and so I think you'll find in the example it gives you some ideas of how you can consider using those wildcards and in the readme file there's a lot of different options for wildcards that are listed. I only use the asterisk which represents any character but at the bottom of this readme file it breaks it down even further. Once these XML files are created then you can open up Open Roads Designer Connect Edition. 
you can go in then to your manage of your element templates and select file import select your element template XML file that it created and OK and those element templates based on the folder structures that you define using the wildcards that we showed will be then generated with the appropriate folder structure, the appropriate spelling and then the symbologies would be assigned as well as they were in the XIN file. You'll want to make sure that you have access to all your custom line styles, all of your cells, and all of your levels before you run this process so that the element templates can find those as they're being generated. So here's just an example of a, a particular entry of your element template. Once your element template's created, then you can navigate to your Open Roads standards down to your feature symbologies. You want to do it in the proper order. Element templates first, symbology second, feature definitions third. If you don't have import on your right click, there's a configuration variable shown and highlighted here. Civil standards import export equals one has to be set. With that variable set, we can then import our feature symbologies. And after you import, you're going to want to do a compressed design to refresh explore. Now you're going to see all of the entries that it imported. So for example, my point feature symbologies, just the same folders that I had designated, all show up appropriately. If I go down and look at a particular entry, let's say under my roadway feature symbologies for my linears, I right click and select properties. You'll see that all of the paths to the element templates are filled in appropriately. And then lastly, we're going to import our feature definitions. And in this case, I was bringing survey in only. If you wanted to keep the civil portion of the survey, you could. I would probably delete those and just hold on to the survey features in this example. But just to show you uh, all the properties are going to be hooked up for these just as well. And so this concludes our demonstration on how we can import those using the XIN extractor to get the information.